Arjun and Tina here with the game of Argentine Tango. And today we are answering questions that come from our students or get posted online. These are some of the more popular ones that we get. And uh, today's is uh, asked quite a bit. Is tango an intimate dance? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> but not in the ways that you might think. <laughs> right. While the embrace often uh, will look intimate because there's often chest-to-chest -chest contact mm -hmm. in the traditional Argentine tango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet, it is an embrace, uh, and that is the term that we use in tango, mm -hmm. that can be opened up and expanded where we can create space between ourselves. Sometimes we need to create that space just to do the, the movements that we want around each other. Mm -hmm. So I think the beautiful thing about Argentine tango is the level of respect for each person's comfort um, and the amount of space that they feel comfortable uh, having in between the couple. Um, I think as a beginner, absolutely expected that you would be dancing apart from your partner, right? We gotta learn the dance, we need a little buffer. <laughs> um, and dancing in a full close embrace takes a certain level of skill and you have to build up to that. And usually by the time that you have been in the community long enough and that you have developed your skill well enough that you would begin dancing in a close embrace, you start to understand that underneath what looks like a very intimate and passionate dance, there's actually an extreme amount of respect and empowerment um, that both the, power, the partners have. As a follower, I have the complete power to decide how close of an embrace I want to dance in, where my own axis is, where my body is, lives, what is comfortable within myself. And I have the ability to set those boundaries, and there's a lot of respect for that. Right. It's also intimate in the respect that other dances, like the ballroom dances in particular, are often a, a show out kind of dance, where we're kind of showing off for the crowd. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whereas in the Argentine tango, yes, you certainly can do that. <laughs> Uh, show off, but more often it is an intimate in the sense of the couple is their energy and their intention is for each other. We're connecting to the music, we're connecting with our partner, and we're also connecting with the space in the dance ronda, the round of dancers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it's intimate in our connection with each other, connection with the music. Yes. And if you're looking for deeper connections in your life, whether it be to music or to a partner or to a community, we do highly recommend uh, that you take a look at Argentine Tango um, because it has this look, but beneath it, we think that you're really gonna enjoy the ideas and the foundations that the dance itself is built on. Right, right. It has, it has the look, it has the actual intimacy with the respect for each other. Absolutely working together to support each other in uh, creating art. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we look forward to seeing you out on the dance floor. And until then, abrazos. abrazos.